So before we get started, I will say the conversation that I'm supposed to have with Sam Cedar related to criminal justice issues will be today at the time I'm dropping this video, August 2nd, 2023 at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be trying to stream it here. Tune in, enjoy yourself. Now let's get into the video. Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Sean and today we're going to talk about and kind of revisit LeBron James's Promise School three years out. And the reason we're going to do this is because we covered this previously on the channel. We made fun of the fact that LeBron's Promise School features him on giant murals multiple different times he's up there three or four times in comparison to much smaller murals of less significant figures like dr martin luther king jr malcolm x etc but the thing is you judge a tree by its fruits and if lebron james is promise school which again would take failing students put them through his special program and try to make them successful actually worked then we give him cheers for that despite the fact that there's a lot of things that that I don't like about LeBron James but the thing is the results are in and zero percent zero students are proficient in math in LeBron James promise school and that's down from their record-breaking year which was the previous school year of 1% proficient in mathematics. And we need to talk about this. We need to discuss this. We need to make fun of LeBron James a little bit. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who signed up over on actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. I will give me the money. Give you, give me the money. Okay. And thank you to my podcast listeners on Spotify, Apple, and Google's podcasting platform. Tonight, there are growing concerns over student performance at Akron's I Promise School, which is supported by LeBron James. First, we should know that WKYC Studios has a partnership with the LeBron James Family Foundation and offers resources to provide opportunities for I Promise students. So since the local news explained that they have a professional connection with LeBron James's foundation and therefore a connection with the Promise School specifically, I think it's only fair for me, Sean Fitzgerald, owner and content creator of the Actual Justice Warrior, to disclose to you that I have a personal bias against LeBron James. I cannot stand LeBron James, and this has nothing to do with his latest political stunts or anything like that, and it has everything to do with him changing up how NBA free agency works to essentially make the goal of the NBA to build essentially a video game-like super team now there have been other super teams before in the nba but none quite like lebron james's miami heat which ultimately led to durant and i think the players colluding in such a way ultimately ended up damaging the national basketball association and just made it sucky to watch also, if you're into the competitive nature or the competitive nature of the old NBA, where players would want to beat the best players, a la Reggie Miller never joining up with Michael Jordan, to me, the modern NBA of three of the top five draft picks from a legendary draft all joining up on the Miami Heat is just not going to cut it by comparison. So that's my personal bias against LeBron. But that being said, I don't think on its face, starting a school for struggling students in your hometown has anything wrong with it. I Promise opened in 2018 as part of the Akron Public Schools District, but receives additional funding from the foundation. So the key flaw in LeBron James's Promise School, the fatal conceit, if you will, is the idea that he did this in partnership with the Akron Public School System. The Akron Public School System system was the failing system you infusing your own money isn't going to do anything this reminds me even though it's a bit different of mark zuckerberg donating a bunch of money to the newark public school system they're wasteful they're corrupt they don't provide adequate education for the students so you partnering up with a wasteful corrupt organization was obviously going to lead to terrible results on top of that of course, the LeBron James glory and the murals and all that are completely over the top. They're completely ridiculous. And again, this is unsurprising when you realize it's LeBron and he is one of the most egotistical maniacs in sports history. So I would expect nothing less from the combination of these two figures than the results that we actually got. Tonight, there is criticism of the school after state test scores showed none of the now rising eighth graders scored proficient in math. Lydia Spara reports. 
As I promised, the school backed by the LeBron James Family Foundation gets ready for the new year. The Akron School Board reflects on the past year in last Monday's board meeting. So I had this incorrect. I said this was the three-year review. The school actually opened in 2018, so it's a five-year review. But it is quite startling that 0% of the 8th graders actually pass the mathematics proficiency test, meaning that they're on track for state standards. I'm looking at the current 7th graders. And so for three years, not one child passed the state test in math, not one, for three years. It is, it is discouraging. It is discouraging. A chart shows for the 22-23 school year, no seventh grader passed math, and only 1% past the previous school year. Now what's interesting is that this chart apparently is supposed to show that no eighth grader has passed math in the last three years. However, I see a 9% there, which is kind of weirding me out. But if you notice any and all of the sections for this school are pretty bad by any standard metric. So the LeBron James Promise School, which is supposed to be taking these kids that are struggling and turning them into successes, is in fact failing in that regard. However, they have some explanations that I want to go into because I want you guys to make your own judgments on whether or not you think these are valid explanations before I give you my judgment, aka the correct judgment. Has there been discussion or, or um, ideas as to why there is such a difference between the results in ELA and in math? There are several factors, according to Stephanie Rosa for the LeBron James Family Foundation. She tells me the kids in IPS are the bottom 25 when it comes to learning and in the Akron School District. Most are at risk. So one of the excuses from the head of the LeBron James Family Foundation is that these kids were already entering the schools on the wrong track. They were already failing. They were in the bottom 25% of the Akron public school system. So basically, you can't expect them to do good in math just when they go into LeBron James's I Promise School and their program. But the thing is, they opened a school with full knowledge of the students that they were trying to take. They made all of this wave about how they were going to improve these students, make them proficient in math, give them the turnaround, a la a similar turnaround that LeBron James himself had in his public school life, and they were supposed to solve the problem. So to me, it's a bit disingenuous for them to then turn around and use the fact that these students were already behind against them when they're facing and criticism for their program not working. I mean, the whole point was that you were going to do this like no other organization did. She says the pandemic affected the children when it came to learning. They required in-person teaching, a more hands-on approach. Now, by the way, that's completely untrue that no other organization has turned around students like this. We know specific charter schools like KIPP Academy, Harlem Success Academy, and all that actually take these kids. They extend the school day. They work really hard to get them better at all these different subjects and then those kids end up scoring in and around the top compared to public schools but again LeBron didn't run this like a regular ordinary charter he partnered up donated some money made some murals of himself in what is essentially a glorified Akron public school system school for failures for worse off students so when you don't change the system of education when you don't change who's in charge when you have this same school board that is failing students across Akron, you shouldn't expect better results. You should expect the same results. And if these students were failing in those other schools, they're failing in these schools. So I understand that this does come into play. I understand that this is a factor, but my criticism rests on the idea that this foundation said they were going to come in and they were going to nail it. And that just hasn't been the case. They knew what they were getting into and they failed on that objective. And she says they come to school hungry, sometimes homeless, and always in need. But that pandemic is over now, and they are pushing forward, says Rosa. So again, they double down on what's going on. They say, oh, these kids come to school hungry. These kids come to school in need. Some of them are homeless. And I do like the fact that the local news is cutting to the B-roll of these like sneaker monuments and all these other things, because it really goes to show you where the money is going in this public school system, specifically from LeBron James. So this seems like largely a vanity project from his foundation. And I would applaud him for 
for the good intent. I would applaud him for trying to help out and all that. But it seems to me, if you look around this school, it looks like a monument to LeBron James's greatness, while the students, the very same students that supposedly the foundation is trying to help, are struggling while they're failing, while they're not doing all that well. And you can tell me about all the trials and tribulations of these kids, and I am concerned about that. I'm concerned about kids going hungry. I'm concerned about children being homeless and all that. But the thing is, don't open a school that caters specifically to these kids that's going to do it right specifically for these kids, then fail at your mission and then blame the kid situation that you asked for. This is just not the way that you should do it. This is not the way that you should talk about it. I mean, if you adopted a bunch of kids, if you fostered them, right, and they had bad nutrition, obesity, or whatever, and you continuously feed those children bad food for them and a bunch of them turn diabetic and you go and say listen I fostered these kids but they had a lot of problems before they were in my care so I not doing anything for them while they're in my care isn't really a knock on me it's a knock on their previous situation again if you're going to foster children it is a great honorable kind thing to do I will praise you for that not making the situation worse can be considered an achievement in itself but don't tell me your goal is to fix these problems to get these kids on the right track and then when it doesn't work out when you have a zero percent success rate turn around and say ah well throw them throw my hands up these kids sucked anyway uh they really blew it look at all the monuments to lebron james look at the sneaker monument of all these sneakers that these homeless kids can't afford and maybe some of them will be robbing from other students near in the near future just don't worry about it. it it's totally fine the kids were messed up but lebron such a good guy such a class act and the thing is i would believe that i would be into that if the foundation actually took the next step and opened up a private school and started giving these kids scholarships. You need more room to operate outside of the public school system. The fact that the school board is the one managing the school in the day-to-day -day operations is a problem. The building looks nice. The facility looks great. But obviously, this idea that just pouring more money into a failing system is going to be a solution has been proven false across this country. Remember, the top three or number three school district in terms of funding across the whole country is the Baltimore public school system. We see similar numbers in Baltimore's public schools. So the idea that spending is the issue is just not the case. In a statement, the principal, Stephanie Davis, says, when working with students who are achieving below grade level, growth is as important as a measure of progress as proficiency. Rosa adds, while they have been challenged, students are meeting the required benchmarks from where they began. So this is interesting. And you know what? Even though I hate LeBron James for sports reasons and he has absolutely terrible takes and I'm very critical of the way that he went about going into this school, I will say if there is significant growth, let's say all of these students were at about 10% of where they needed to be to be proficient, but now they're just below proficiency, which is probably around 60%. They're at 55%. That would be a thing that you could point to to show me that these kids are actually achieving or they're getting close to going over the top. The problem I have is that they provided no such numbers. They're talking about growth in a holistic way, and a lot of left-wing organizations, a lot of teachers unions want to move into holistic grading because anytime you have an objective standard, it turns out it looks badly on the school district. It looks badly on the teachers. It looks badly in this specific case on LeBron James and his Promise Foundation. So if you have numbers to indicate the progress of the students, put those forward. Submit them before the school board. Put them out publicly. However, if you're just saying that the teachers feel like they're doing better when you have a 0% success rate, I'm not just going to buy into that. I'm not going to support it. I'm not going to sign up for it. Their language skills appear to be pretty decent in comparison to their math skills so maybe they're progressing in that regard but I would love to see how these students would progress versus a normal Akron public school system versus a charter school that has much more freedom in order to operate with the same or similar sets of students and she adds because the work requires a long-term commitment hard work and a lot of love and care
So this is why I don't believe them, because anytime you have to hide behind the veneer of you doing some kind of charity work or anything like that, I am quite suspicious when there are no numbers to back it up. So the statement is, oh, well, they're meeting their benchmarks as set by us. But by the way, these kids suck in the beginning. I mean, they're terrible. They're, they have no parents. They're homeless. They're hungry and all that. So you can't expect success from them. But they are meeting the benchmarks, and that's because they require a lot of love and kindness and care. And you know where you're getting? that at the promise school well it turns out the promise school so far all it is is promises and those promises are not being delivered on and an empty promise is just as valueless as the education these students were receiving before but that gives lebron james the chance for glory the chance to be recognized the chance to have his sneaker monuments and of course the billboards of him and how awesome he is because it's all about lebron james in my opinion i don't think it's about the i promise foundation i think it's about the lebron james i promise foundation first and foremost and the fact of the matter is I would be horrified if this were the result of these actions. And this is where it really reminds me of Zuckerberg donating all that money to the Newark public school system because he got the positive press from doing that. He got the cheers from the media that he wanted. But did the Newark public school system improve from that donation? No, that money was pocketed. That money was spent in ridiculous and absurd ways. And that's what appears to be happening right in front of our faces with Akron's Promise School. Now, now, I do believe that LeBron James, despite all of his flaws as a person, despite all of his flaws as a player, wants to generally do good for people that he cares about and wants to be known as a figure that contributes to society. And I will say... In that regard, I commend him for that. Even though I think, again, he went about this the wrong way, he should have done his own thing with separate management and all of that, the fact of the matter is, he does seem to have a will to want to interact with these people, and a lot of people who go into the public school system trying to fix it from within the system ultimately end up discovering, through repeated failure, through dealing with the blob that is the bureaucracy, of the American public school system, that the best possible option is to go your own way. So if LeBron puts up the money, if he changes up how this charter school works, if he starts dispensing scholarships to low-performing Akron public school students so that they can attend, but also has teachers and all these people working a bit differently than what is certified in their union contract, I'm sure that that will lead to positive results. And if you have a charitable spirit and it's aimed in the right direction, that's better than most people who are just not charitable. So again, not a fan of LeBron, hate his political takes hate what he's done to the nba find him lame every time he says something it's usually dumb but his heart may genuinely be in the right place and if that's the case people should push him to do something different people should push him to change people should point out that his foundation is putting all this money into this school ultimately to end up with zero percent success rate for mathematics and that is helping no one but you know what those are just my thoughts and opinions. They happen to be 100% correct and accurate in every possible way. But let me know if you disagree your wrong opinion down in the comments below. If you liked the video, show them by leaving a like. Subscribe for more content. Follow me on my social medias. Support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about LeBron James. I promise school. Till next time.